In this tutorial video, we will uh, learn how to create a BEM exchanger type and how we can create the tube bundle simply. Beginning, we will create project, select the module. After that, we will create the channel head, define the inside diameter, straight flange thickness. After that, we will define this is the shield course, select the type, inside diameter, and the length. Add a design flange, select the type as integral welded neck groove, grooved face, define the dimensions, click save. Now let's add a gasket with pass partition, select two passes, define the dimensions. Now let's add a new group, define it as a channel, select from left head up to F1. Let's select the head and add a pass partition, define the pass partition dimensions. Click save. Now let's add the shell elements. Let's add a tube sheet one, select the type as a tube sheet gasketed from one side and with it from the other side, define the dimensions. Select the number of passes as two passes. Save. From here we will define the tube pattern. So let's define the dimensions, select number of passes, vertical bus lane and horizontal bus lane, define the tube type and tire of dimensions, let's draw the holing, define the tire of locations and let's save. Now let's add a shell course, define the inside diameter and the length, let's add another tube sheet. Let's make it same as the first one, but in this case, we will make it one pass. Now let's add a new group, start from tube sheet one and add tube sheet two. Let's add a baffle, define the inside diameter, location, and the number of baffles. Let's add another type of baffle, same as type one. Let's change the orientation and the location. The third baffle, we will make it end baffle. So let's change it as end baffle. Define the dimensions, location. Let's click save. Now let's add a tube. Select the standard lens. Now let's add tie rod. Define the length of the tie rod. The nut size and the nut offset. Now let's click start simply. Now the channel head, the pass partition, fill plate, flange, the gasket. After that, the first tube sheet, the baffles, first baffle, second baffle, and third baffle. Now the tube, the symbol. After that, the tie rod, the shell plate, the second tube sheet. Now we will select the first tube sheet and start the holding to start creating tube pattern as simply holding in the tube sheet and baffles now let's add the channel uh, the bonnet gasket i designed the flange and make it looks like flange one the same for the can let's make it looks like can one another head make it looks like the first head but we will select the flange and flip it changes the length of the shell and flip the second head to make the convex of this head to the other side. Yes, simply. Now we have the complete body of the uh, exchanger. Now let's add some nozzles to the uh, channel. Let's add the first nozzle, define the projection from the center line and the second nozzle. Make it same as the first nozzle, but we will change the orientation only, keep everything. Select the shell uh, on the uh, tube side. Define the uh, uh, nozzle location, rating and orientation, projection from the center line. Add another nozzle. Make it same as this uh, this nozzle, but with changing the location and orientation. So let's change location and orientation. Select the uh, bonnet and add a vent nozzle. Select rating size. Change the location, add another nozzle as a drain nozzle, make it same as vent, 
but we will change the orientation only. Now let's add saddles. Let's add the lift saddle. And the wheel blade defines some dimensions. And it like save. Now let's add another saddle and let's make it same as the first one. But now let's flip it and change the location of this one. And click a simply. Now you can figure that the nozzles will be created on the channel. After that, on the shell side, the support saddles. After that, nozzles on the bonnet. You can figure that the saddle location come make a clash with the uh, second nozzle. So let's change the projection of the saddle and the location of saddles. And let's make the final run. Thank you for your time.